hey guys what is up welcome back to my channel um today we are going to be learning how to roll a blunt yay so um i've been seeing a lot of people not know how to roll a blunt and i literally learned how you guys are learning right now on youtube so i was like let me show you guys how i do it and just in case somebody needs you know some help learn how to roll a little herb or you know whatever whatever um before we get started go ahead and like this video it helps my algorithm a lot comment if you want to let me know how i did let me know if something else i could have done differently i already know that i could have done a few things differently but um i did it i did another one i did a second one after this one and it looks out so perfect it didn't look perfect but it looked way better and so um with everything like this oh and also make sure you are um in a legal state where to do this ad please do not do this illegally etc etc disclaimer okay so um we're getting it started make sure you have clean hands a, a knife or um a scissor something sharp um your lighter and your herb of course and also your wraps there has been like stuff that you can have wraps from everywhere you can get it from already pre-made or you can do like i did and you just get a 99 cent wrap and you just do it yourself so the ones that are already pre-made are amazing because all you have to do is put the herb in there oh and also um you can also get a grinder and that's what it looks like when you take it out the back. You can all, and then first we're going to cut and make a little surgical incision, and we're gonna cut the the wrap right down in the middle in half. It's so fun. It's like you're you're a doctor and you're making surgery, but you're gonna cut that in half, and you're gonna open it slowly, and um, you're just gonna take all of the googly gook out and you can put it in like something like i did there just put it in like a bowl or something and you can discard it um try to make sure you get all of that out because um that's the nicotine and all that bad stuff that you don't like so i try to make sure i get it all the way out it's pretty it's pretty simple to get out um it's not it's not that hard and then now we're going to open it make it nice and wide and make sure everything is out and I kind of took that off by accident. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and lick these sides. I know, I know it's weird. But we're going to lick the whole inside. And what this does, it just gives like a kind of security for the herb. So that way it sticks on to the blunt and can stick on and stick to itself when you curl it um now with this part with the herb i usually have um a, a what do you call it a grinder but i did not i could not find my grinder for the life of me so what i'm doing now i'm just um i'm just grinding it myself so basically just taking it off of the the stem and sm basically smushing it and crumbling it into little pieces so that way when you smoke it um it will um be a nice clean um puff every time but i would recommend you use a grinder and just grind up your weed before putting it into the blunt now depending on how big your wrap is um you can put however much um we our herb that you want in your blood um depending on how you how high you want to get or how um or what your money looking like or how much weed or, or i keep trying to see weed or how much herb you have etc and um i i just do a little bit at a time because i have anxiety and smoking a lot can um make my anxiety worse so i, I always am careful with how much i smoke um, I barely even smoke at all, to be honest. I just do it, you know, with friends occasionally and stuff like that. But I just randomly learned how to um, 
know how to to make a blunt off of YouTube because I wanted to smoke one day and I was like I don't know how to make a blunt so um I was like let me just do this for you guys so you guys can see what I do and um when you're doing this make sure you you have something like a folder or something like my folder that I have there like you're doing this on top of something like a stable surface a flat surface so that way it doesn't fly away anywhere and make sure you're if you have a fan don't have the fan on because then it's gonna blow all of the herb everywhere and it's just gonna make a big mess so like I'm doing there I'm trying to make sure I have all my scrap ups and I'm just going to um, put it in my hand and put it back into the blunt and um, so that way we can get every penny of our money of our money's worth sorry I don't know why but the voice thingy just shut off but anyways back to what I was saying um so we're just going to pack that in have all the sides and we're going to just put it in the middle as much as we can and then um we're going to lick the left side and the right side so you're going to get like a little bit of weed on your tongue which is okay um you can just spit it out <laughs> and put it back in the blunt if you're the only one smoking it, it doesn't really matter um and this is why a lot of people don't really like sharing blunts with other people because you're going to be using a lot of saliva when you make a blunt um because um you basically have to wet the thing to get it everything to stick so like i'm doing there i'm using my saliva to secure the ends and then i'm tightening it as i go there you go and then i'm also while i'm have the blood in my mouth um i try to close it shut with my teeth and my tongue i wish i could have showed you guys that but you can't really see that right now but as you can see i'm closing it smallly and then using some more saliva and like pushing it all the way inside and almost like a little circle like a little tornado to where it stays if it's unfolding that means you need more saliva like like i said guys you need a lot of saliva with this sadly but um hey when you're balling on a budget <laughs> um <laughs> so yeah we're just doing that right now um usually i i crinkle an end so that way the weed doesn't come out of one end and um that that will usually be the end that i light and yeah it's pretty much done for that one and then also i like to fan it dry so that way it doesn't come apart when i try to light it up so I just um fan it dry or blow on it so that way it stays and sticks and that's pretty much how you make the bloody. I hope that was kind of helpful, guys. I don't know if um, it needs more detail. Let me know if you have any questions or anything like that. I am more than happy to answer them for you. Um, that one is really skinny because I didn't put much herb in it. But um, I'll do one. If y'all want me to do another one, I'll do one with a lot of it in it. And then we can try that. And then it's pretty much done. All you got to do is light up one of the ends. And then as you light up the end, just put it in your mouth. Don't worry, you won't burn yourself. Put it in your mouth and light up the end and suck it while the fire is up. And then you'll see the fire go down and then it should be done. Yeah. Thanks guys for watching. Love you. Bye. <laughs>